Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we will discuss standard deviation and variance of the population. So in my previous video, um, pinag-usapan natin all about mean of the populations. Wherein, mean is of the population is denoted by mu. That is the population mean. Wherein the formula is mu is equal to summation of x all over the capital letter N. Where in mu is the population mean, x is the variable and Capital letter N is the population size. So, yan yung formula for the mean of the population. So, for example, given that X is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Determine the mean of this population. So, using this formula, i-add up lang naman natin lahat ng values na yan. So, therefore, that is yun yung meaning ng summation or sigma symbol na yan. So, therefore, this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all over 5. Which is, that is 15 over 5 gives us, the population mean is 3.00. So, that is the formula to determine the mean of the population. So, in this video, we will discuss how about kung standard deviation naman and variance. So, ano nga ba formula for uh, those two? So, in standard deviation and variance, these are the formula for variance sigma squared. That is population variance, wherein sigma squared is equal to the summation of x minus mu squared all over capital letter N, wherein that is sigma squared is the population variance. Mu is the population mean. So, kaya nagbigay pa ako ng example for, mu, uh, for mean para at least mamaya ay uh, nare-recall pa rin natin. So, kung gusto nyo pa ng further um, example doon, meron naman ako video na nagawa noon. So, yung mga bago lang din sa channel ko, pwede nyo naman panoorin yun. So, meron din tayong x variable, then n is the population size. Wherein, kapag ka variance yan, then population is sigma lang. Okay? It's population standard deviation. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang nagkaroon lang ng uh, square root. So, therefore, Sa standard deviation, uh, para mas mabilis nyo siya makompute, kunin muna natin si variance. So, pagkada determine natin variance, square root nyo lang yun, that is the standard deviation. So, makita nyo, square root lang nadagdag. Ayan, sa formula. So, proceed tayo, paano nga ba sagutin yan? So, for example, given that, uh, so, for example, given that x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, determine its standard deviation and variance. So, uh, dapat gawa mo na kayo ng table, rewrite nyo yan, lahat ng values ninyo. Okay? So, bala kayo kung gusto ascending order or descending order, o kahit di siya naka-order, okay lang naman. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo, ito yung formula natin for variance. Sabi ko nga kanina, variance muna kumpitin natin. So, pag natin natin yung variance, di madali na natin madidetermine yung standard deviation kasi square root lang naman natin yung values ng variance. Okay? So, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa taas, eh, ito yung una natin kumpletuhin na table. So, meron tayong x minus mu squared. So, therefore, kailangan muna natin gumawa ng x minus mu. Okay? Table para sa x minus mu. Okay? So, gagawa tayo ng table for x minus mu which is wala tayong value for mu. Tama? Ayan, meron tayo dito x minus mu, so which is yung corresponding value for x, yung katapat niya, minus the mu, which is mu is the mean of the population. So, kumpitin muna natin yung mean of the population. Okay, that is the formula for the mean of the population, wherein, ito yun, 1, 2, which is sa uh, first, uh, uh, umpisa pa lang ng part ng video natin, is kinumpit na natin to, tama? I-add up mo lahat yan, then divide mo kung ilan sila. Okay, so yung 5 na yun, that is the population. Ilan ba sila? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 gives us 15 over 5. And that is 3.00. So, meron na tayong, since meron na tayong value for mean, uh, di gagawin natin, so subtract lang natin yung x value dito sa mean. So, which is 1 minus 3. Yun yun. And so, that is 1 minus 3. So, subtract natin yung process na um, rules ng integer since greater than 2. So, positive 1 minus 3, that is, gives us negative 2. So, next is, sundan lang naman natin yung process nyan. So, that is 2 minus 
3. So, 2 yung una natin. So, x minus 3. So, that is 2 minus 3 gives us negative 1 followed by 3 minus 3. That is 0. Okay. Next is 4 minus 3 gives us positive 1. And then, 5 minus 3. That is positive 2. So, yan yung para dito sa x minus mu. Yan. Sinusundan lang natin yung formula which is meron tayong squared doon. Okay? So, therefore, kung meron tayong squared doon, dilagay tayo doon sa table natin at tayo ng merong squared. Okay? So, ang ibig sabihin lang yan, i-squared natin lahat ng values natin doon sa x minus mu, which is ito yun. Okay? So, iisa-isahin natin yan. That is, so, ibig sabihin para dito, that is negative 2 squared. So, gives us positive 4. Next is negative 1 squared. Tama, gives us positive 1. So, we multiply lang natin by itself. Next is 0 squared, that is 0. Next is uh, uh, pass forward tayo, that is 1 squared, okay, that is 1. And then 2 squared, that is 4. Okay, kompleto na yung table natin. Next is, kung mapapansin nyo, ang kasunod na lang is summation. So, meaning, isa sum up lang natin to. Then, we divide by Capital letter N, or which is the population size, ilan ba yung data natin, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So, add up lang natin siya. Okay? Lagi ko muna doon. So, ang sum nito is, that is 10. Tama ba? 4 plus 1, that is 5, plus 0, that is 5 pa rin, plus 1, 6 plus 4 gives us 10. So, therefore, this is 10 over 5. Okay, so that is 10 divided by 5 gives us our variance is positive 2 or 2.00. Okay, that is the variance. So, paano ba i-determine yung standard deviation? According nga sa akin kanina, square root nyo lang tong variance na makuha natin. Kaya nga variance ang una. So, nga kung formula ng, ng standard deviation, pareha sila ng formula, ang nangyari lang may square root. So, therefore, kung ano yung value nito, square root mo lang yan, that is our standard deviation, which is square root of 2.00 gives us our standard deviation. Population, population standard deviation is 1.41. So, ganun lang kadali mag-compute na uh, standard deviation and variance of the population. So, that all for this video. Meron ako pre dito. Kung gusto nyo mag-practice, so determine the standard deviation and variance of the following. So, itong dalawang to. Pwede isa lang yung sagutan nyo. Pwede yung dalawang yan. O kaya... Alin, bahala na kayo kung paano nyo sagutan. Kung gusto nyo na naman mag-practice, then comment down below na lang yung answer nyo. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And then, if you're looking to uh, Filipino lecture video, I highly recommend my Filtech TV. And then, also follow us on our Facebook page, Matt and Filtech TV. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.